It's another beautiful day at KSFO. This is Zex, your host for this episode of Tips and Tricks of Flight Gear. Today I'm going to show you how to overlay the numbers, the instrument numbers, onto your Flight Gear screen, specifically in this area. I am flying the Goose, the Gremlin Goose, and this one is made by Buckaroo, and you can download it from his website. All right, let's uh, take a look in the cockpit by pressing Control V. I am back in the cockpit. Oh yeah! Well, as you can see, I got my airplane up in the air. My manifold pressure around 26, uh, and my RPMs uh, in the red zone, basically. My flaps are up. My mixture and my prop are 100% full, and everything up here looks fine. Fuel pressure, uh, fuel flow. Oil temperature and oil pressure, all the good stuff, you know what I mean. Now, while I fly, I want to make sure that I don't hurt my airplane. And in this specific airplane, you can toggle engine warnings or toggle engine failures. And by doing so, it basically means that you have to fly using the protocol because if you don't, you're going to destroy your energy engine and you are going to go down 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 and that's not a good thing you know if, especially if you're flying realistically uh, even though it's a sim so let's take a look how can we keep on seeing these panels and make sure that we're on task here right now I'm using a lot of fuel my oil temperature is probably uh, okay fine but I want to make sure that my manifold pressure my RPMs are uh, efficiently uh, correlated with the mixture in the prop and I have no way of telling how much of the mixture is actually uh, being lean or rich or uh, the prop is being full or whatnot my English sucks because I'm Japanese so that's my excuse anyways you can go to file and you can go to browse internal properties I just like to press the shortcut button which is uh, I think it's backslash and here we have two uh, basic uh, buttons, controls, and engines, which we're going to focus on. Let's go ahead and take a look at engines. And we'll take a look at the default engine here. And let's see, we got all these variables, these numbers here. Oh, there's one. Fuel consumed in pounds and fuel flow graph. In this case, I'm interested in fuel flow graph because I want to know how much fuel is flowing to my engines. Uh, so by pressing shift and then clicking on fuel flow graph, I can overlay it onto my screen. Yes. And this basically means if I press Shift M, which means I'm going to be uh, messing around with my mixture, I can decrease the fuel flow. And as you see, the animation is related to the fuel flow graph. All right. So we have the fuel flow graph. We want to also see. Let's see. We had oil temperatures. Mm, it's not too important for now. However, we do have the RPMs, which are basically up here. And I'm in the uh, yellow zone, so let's go ahead and take the RPMs and shift and click on it and overlay that. Okay, I think that's a bit about it for this one. Let's go back into controls, and then let's go to engines, and then the um, zero engine, engine zero. And let's see here. Hmm, anything useful? Aha, we have the mixture, which is one, which means it's 100% on propeller pitch which is 100% on and then we got our throttle which looks like it's at 70.3% and these are great things to have uh, you know overlaid onto your uh, flight gear while you're flying because you don't want to keep on looking up looking up at the instruments yeah that's kind of annoying too having the uh, internal browsers in my way too anyways so I have one, two, three, four, five. If you want to overlay more, you can definitely overlay a lot more if you want it to. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to get rid of the overlay. So that's the only bad thing I don't know how to do in this, is how to uh, get rid of the overlays. I guess you have to restart or reset uh, flight gear. All right, that's it for flight gear tips and tricks. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the plane here. I was actually uh, out of control back there for a few seconds. Up oh, there's the rock, Alcatraz. Uh, great sunlighting there, and you guys have a wonderful day.
Thank you for watching. This is Zex on Tips and Tricks. Bye-bye.